Well, there's a first time for everything, and it finally happened yesterday. Welcome to Happy Wax TV. Okay, so I want to address a few issues in this video. I'll try and go as fast as I can. I apologize because, I mean, if you're one of my subscribers, y'all know I'm fucking long-winded and ramble. So I will do my best to kind of keep it as short and sweet and to the point as I can, but I make no promises. Anyways, this is a response video because I had a ton of you message me yesterday asking me why I removed my review for the human hibachi. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, first off, I'm not accountable to anybody except for you, the subscriber, because you guys keep coming back here video after video, you know, and I love it. You, you, you know, you, you, I'm assuming you like what I have to say about movies, and I certainly hope that you know that I would never fucking bullshit you and lie to you. I don't tap dance around issues when it comes to movies. I don't, actually, I don't tap dance around anything. I don't do it in my personal life, and I don't do it on this channel. If I don't like something... I'm going to fucking say it. If I think that there's upvoting involved in a, in a, you know, a lower graded movie, I'm going to call bullshit. This the same as if I love a movie, I'm going to fucking rave about it. Okay. So I had a subscriber uh, message me a couple days ago and say, uh, said to me that he wanted me to check this movie out because he went on INDB. He was kind of questioning whether or not he wanted to purchase it or rent it. And he saw all the 10s out of 10s, he read the reviews, and then he, he made his decision and he went and bought it, and then he watched it, and what he saw was not a 10 out of 10 movie, okay? And then he messaged me and said, have I seen this? And if not, could I go watch it and then, you know, maybe do a video on it and blah, blah, I said, no problem. And as soon as I went on IMDb, I saw all the fucking 10s and the 9s, and I thought, okay... So I watched it and I was like, no fucking way. Like they're upvoting this video. This is not a fucking nine and a 10 out of it. You know what I mean? Like there's no fucking way. And it, it, it pissed me off and I called bullshit like I've done with so many other movies. You know, I'm not going to sit here and list them all. Okay. And I'm, I'm not going to center my, this around this movie, but I just want to say this about the upvoting. So anyways, at the end of each video, okay, when I do these rant videos or call bullshit on them, I always say the same fucking thing. Any director involved in the movie, any fucking producer, any fucking crew, actors, whatever, message me. Tell me I'm fucking lying or prove me wrong, okay? Again, I get tons of email and messages and stuff saying I'm an asshole and this and that, but nobody ever can prove it wrong because it's a fucking thing and it drives me insane and it should drive you insane too as a viewer who is going to be spending their money on a particular movie being lied to saying it's fucking great when it's not. But yesterday, finally, finally, after, I don't know how many years I've had this channel, this is my second channel and I've been doing this. I finally had the director or eight message me, Mario Soretto. I hope that's how you pronounce your last name. I apologize if it's, if it's not. And he messaged me and he I, as soon as I saw his name pop up, I thought, oh, fuck, okay, well, hang on, let me put my fucking <laughs> thicker skin on again, because I'm going to get called every name in the fucking book, because I was, I was not nice in, in the review, okay, but I was mad because of the upvoting, you know, and, and I, the, you know, the, I've seen so many, and I researched them, do you know what I mean, like, I didn't really do it a lot for this movie, but, you know, I've gone on, especially when directors of, of you know, come at me and stuff like that. Like, all you have to do is go on their Facebook page or the Twitter account. And there's, you can see right there, there's messages saying, hey guys, our, our ratings in I, on IMDb are low. Let's, let's jump on board and get the ratings up and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how it works, man. Like, I know you have to sell your movie, but at least, it, you know, be honest about it. So he messaged me yesterday. He was very polite. In fact, we spoke online for, I would say over an hour, okay? And at the end of the conversation, I actually feel like we're probably friends now. He's very cool, okay? And he, and he told me, you know, the struggles he had to make to, to do this movie or any movie. And I respect that. And he assured me that it, in no way did he have anything to do with the upvoting. He said that this movie has garnered a small cult following, uh, mainly because of the Amazon incident where, where the snowflakes at Amazon won't or wouldn't 
sell or stream his movie because of some scenes in it. And he assured me that it was the fan base that were going on in defense of the lower ratings because I, I found out that, you know, the IMDb assholes jumped on and, you know, not even taking the time to leaving a review, but just going on the rating system to hit that one, which is why I fucking hate this, this website so much because it's so easy to do it. And it happens all the time. So he was, you know, the fan base saw this and they just tried to help the movie out. Because he said at, at the time before all this started, the movie was sitting around, I think he said it was like a 5.6 or something like that, okay? And I said, okay, all right, that's fine. That's all I asked for is, is for someone to come on and, and, and just, you know, say or prove to me so I can let you guys know that upvoting wasn't involved. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's you as a viewer who have to spend your money to watch these movies. And you don't want to sell your movie based on a bunch of lies. So, you know, you can call me what you want, but I'm just trying to help you guys out. So anyways, I am a man of my word. And, you know, I've always said, prove me that it wasn't upvoted because of you. You know what I mean? Like, and I'll take it down. And he did. And we talked about a whole bunch of other stuff. And it was great. So man of my word, that's why I removed the, uh, the review. Not because I had to. But because, I, you know, I'm not a liar and, you know, I'm a man of my word. If I say I'll take it down, then I'll take it down. And I did. And that's the reason why. So, but that aside, okay, I, I want to get into a couple comments. And I'm going to keep this very quick because there was a, a whole whack of comments that I, I was just shaking my head at of what some people say. And normally, you know, they always say when you do YouTube videos, the worst thing you can do is read comments. Because there's so many fucking trolls out there. There are. There really are. Keyboard warriors who, you know, will say anything and whatever because they know they're safe and secure in their mommy's basement on the couch and, and no one's ever going to come after them. And that, that's fine. It is what it is. I, you can't do a negative review and not expect to get backlash. I know this, okay? I respect what everybody says and unlike what they tell you not to do, I read every fucking comment, okay? I, I may not respond to, to most of them because it's a little overwhelming, with, especially as this channel grows. But like I've always said, if you have a heart beside your comment, that means that I've read it. And some, some I respond to, but I just don't have the fucking time, <laughs> okay? And I, I barely have enough time to put these fucking videos up. I'm just, I'm so busy at work. But I, I did want to respond to a few comments. Now, I'm not going to name names because they know who they are, but... <laughs> a few people in the comments said that reviews and reviewers like me who give negative reviews like I did for this movie. And I'm not just, I'm not centering this movie out. Okay. I, I even said when I talked to Mario yesterday, I didn't care for his movie and that my stance hasn't changed on it. I didn't like it. Okay. And you know, I'm not going to go into to why, and I already gave my reasoning. Not every movie is going to be a fucking home run, okay? And I've seen, you know, if I was just some vengeful bozo who just sat down here and just wanted to, to hate on this movie, I could understand that. But I have seen, and I've, and I've given examples. Go back through my videos. I've, I've raved about zero-budget movies before. So, do you know what I mean? Like, there's good ones and there's bad ones, okay? But this, th these comments that some of these people made saying that my reviews or reviewers like me okay, are damaging to the fucking indie horror -ish industry, okay, and I'm thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? First of all, and again, I'm not talking about human hibachi, I'm talking about the, 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 the all movies, whether it be big budget, indie movies, whatever, a bad movie is a bad movie, and if I say it's a fucking bad movie, it's my opinion, because I'm going to tell you what I think, which is why you guys come here, and I'm not going to lie about it. And I'm not going to tap dance around the issue. If it's a piece of shit, I'm going to call it as such. You know what I mean? And it's, it's like, I don't, I, I don't tap dance around in my personal life and I'm not going to do it on here. So enough YouTubers do it where they'll get screener copies or whatever. And, and they, they want to say a movie is fantastic when it's really not. Hey, you want to lie to your audience? Then, then go right ahead. That's what you want to base your channel on. I don't. If I don't like something, then I'm going to fucking say that I don't like it, okay? And then to come at me and say that I'm damaging to the indie horror industry, 
what the fuck are you talking about? First of all, reviews like it's being called held accountable. Okay. So apparently to these, these guys that commented, you're not supposed to give bad reviews to indie horror because it's damaging. I, I get it. It's probably hard to get your foot in the door. It's hard to make a movie in general. I get that. But hey, guess what? Life is fucking hard. Okay, so so what? Indie horror is supposed to get a fucking, you know, a, a, a pass. So even if it's a, a shitty movie, you're supposed to say that it's a good movie. Oh, hey, guys, then then go watch Rootwood. You know, go, go watch any other of my movies that I've ranted about. Because apparently... I'm supposed to say they're fucking fantastic and not, not call them for what they are. That's, that's how I wagered or, or, you know, read that comment. So bad reviews on indie horror is damaging to indie horror because it's hard to get a foot in the door. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to use my fucking golf game as what I think. Okay. And, and this is how I revolve my, my, you know, to that comment. When I go play golf, okay, a good round for me is when I shoot in the low 70s to mid 70s, okay? That's what I expect to shoot, all right? Now, if I go out and shoot a round in the fucking 80s, or heaven forbid I shoot a round in the 90s, Jesus, you don't want to be around me if I shoot in the 90s, okay? I am fucking pissed off, all right? And that's the same as a viewer renting a movie. If they see a shitty movie, they're not going to be like, nah, well, you know, it's indie horror. <laughs> no, they're pissed off because they spent eight, nine dollars, twelve dollars to rent a fucking movie. Okay, that's why they come to channels like like mine, because I don't tap dance. You know what I mean? So if I shoot a bad round of fucking golf, I'm pissed off at myself. You know, what do I do? And this is this is what should happen as a director. What do I do if I shoot a bad round of fucking golf? I'm pissed off, so I go and try and improve my fucking golf game. I go to the putting green after the fucking round. You know, work on my putting. I go to the fucking driving range and work on my fucking, you know, whatever I was having issues with that day, whether it was chipping or I couldn't pull a draw off or something. That's what I fucking work on. Okay, so I'm just holding certain movies accountable if they're not fucking good. I'm just calling it like it is. So as a director or producer or cameraman or whatever you are with whatever involvement, you should take my criticism and say, listen, maybe we need to work on these things. Okay. And I get it. It's low budget horror, zero budget, you know, but I've seen so many zero budget movies that are fucking fantastic. I'm going to cosmos zero fucking budget, fantastic fucking movie headhunter $30,000 budget. Whoop the fucking do. I've got more than $30,000 invested just in this fucking room. Do you know what I mean? And I know you have to, you know, people always, oh, the struggle to make movies. It's the same as, you know, I get it. I get it. But if a movie's not put together well, it's just not put together well. The same as my golf game. If I go out and shoot a bad round of golf, I'm going to be pissed off at myself. I'm going to curse and swear at myself and I'm going to go and try and prove it. So don't tell me that when I give bad fucking reviews on an indie horror movie that I'm hurting the fucking industry. All I'm doing is holding them accountable so that maybe next time when you work on your movie, you know, you'll, you'll fucking work on certain aspects that you, you know, didn't do that well in the other movie. That's, that's it. Okay. I know I'm a little harsh and I'm a little abrasive sometimes, but I'm the same way in my own life. If I fuck something up or make a mistake, I would expect someone to come at me too. So you know, if you get butt hurt over my comments, you can do one of two things. You can either try and improve, you know what I mean? Or you can go watch someone else's fucking reviews. I don't care. And I've said this too. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a professional film critic. Okay. I never went to fucking film school or, or YouTube or or film critic school or, or whatever these guys, I'm not Jeremy Johns. I'm not fucking Chris Stuckman. I'm fucking me. All right. And I look at movies as I'm a fan, okay? And I don't know what sort of fucking hell that the the producers or a director or whoever else had to go through to make a fucking movie, okay? 
If you want to fucking do what fucking they did it for Dead Set, okay? That director left a fucking note at the beginning of his fucking movie and on the YouTube channel, okay? First, first, first time directing a feature length film where I think it was his first or second, had a zero budget and he explained all that, okay? He said this, you know, I was brought in late, the cast worked for free, we built our own sets, you know, I think we have a good product here. You know what I mean? Give it a watch. And they, they had it for free. Okay. If I watched that movie and I didn't know all that, then I probably wouldn't have thought as highly of it, even though it's still a damn good movie. Okay. But to just make a movie and then, and then put it out there and then expect people to fucking love it, even though it's not a great movie. Well, listen, I'm not like that. And I don't tap dance. And if I don't like a fucking movie, then I'm going to fucking call it. And I, the way I do my movies is I sit down and I watch it. And I said this before, I do my reviews. I don't script anything. I just sit that, which is probably why, you know, I ramble a lot and I repeat myself a lot. I know this and I'm working on it, but I, you know, do my reviews as if I've seen the movie with you, the subscriber, we've gone to the movie theater to watch it, and we're walking out of the theater on our way to our vehicles, and we're talking about the fucking movie. That's that's how I do my reviews. I, I find that to be more honest. I mean, listen, if, if you want to hear, oh, the cinematography was great, or they use this aspect ratio, or, or they use this type of color grading, or this audio mix, th- then go fucking somewhere else, okay? Because I don't talk about that shit, all right? I just... You know, I'm a fat guy that pays for my popcorn and my fucking drink, and I sit my ass in the fucking seat, and I watch a movie. And all I know about that movie is what I've taken in in the 90 minutes to, God forbid, the two fucking hours sometimes, you know, the movie, and then that's it. And then I want to talk about it after I watch it, okay? If you want something more critical or or more involved, then go somewhere else, because that's not how I revolve my channel. I... Talk about reviews because I'm a fan of horror and I present my reviews as in I'm just a guy who sat down like all of you and just viewed the film, okay? And that's it. So anyways, (laughs) again, I'm probably off topic here. Again, to say that I'm damaging to the indie horror, if that's what you think, if that's your opinion, then I value your opinion, but I strongly fucking disagree. Okay, because first of all, on my channel, I defend way more indie horror movies than I fucking rag on them. Okay, but again, a bad movie is a bad fuck. One more example, and then I'll leave it alone. Okay, I just did a review for the movie The Reckoning. Okay, and it's fucking garbage. Okay, but if what this or what these these comments were from these these people leaving comments, so basically, what you're saying then is if it's indie horror, you know what I mean, or because it's so hard to make movies and whatever, whatever. The Reckoning was done by Neil Marshall, okay? If you don't know who Neil Marshall off, Marshall is, first of all, you should, but he's the director that gave us The Descent and Dog Soldiers, okay? Two fucking classic horror movies. I mean, they're classics. You can't even de- defend that they're not. They just are, okay? He put this movie out, The Reckoning. It was fucking garbage. So am I not supposed to say that this movie's trash because it's Neil Marshall? Does Neil Marshall get a pass? No, it's the same as indie horror. I appreciate and respect the hard work that goes in. I always, in fact, I even said it, and again, I'm not revolving this around the human hibachi. I'm way done that now. I just wanted to tell you why I took the review down, but I'm just talking for general movies in general that are shit. Like, you know, because it's indie horror, it's supposed to get a pass. I, I've always said I appreciate the effort that they put into it. And I've always said in every fucking review that I've ever done, go watch the movie for yourself. Go rent it if you haven't, and then come back here and let me know what you think. I've always said that. I've never once said, don't go fucking watch a movie. I've almost said it. And I may have I may have said it once in a while, but then I always retract my statement in my review and say, no, no, go watch it. Then you can make up your own opinion. So don't fucking tell me that I'm damaging to the indie. Hold yourself accountable. And if a movie's not fucking good, then take the points out that I'm saying and then go and fucking improve it. And yep, I've, I know you're, well, fuck, you've never even made a movie. You're right. And I even said that in my review. Fuck, I can barely even do these fucking things. Okay, which is why I put clips up 
using, using one of the videos I shot 14 years ago. And again, I'm not, I'm not talking about human hibachi and John. I'm just talking about, you know, indie horror movies and low budget horror movies and even big budget movies in general. So anyways, there, I had to get off my chest. I don't normally respond to, to a lot of comments. So once in a while I defend them, but just to tell me that my reviews are damaging to indie horror. No, no, they're not. In fact, I probably draw more attention to indie horror movies with bad reviews than the traffic they're going to get without it because a lot of people don't even fucking know about them. Am I wrong? I don't fucking think so. And again, I don't want to make it sound like I rag on every movie. Probably, uh, you know, less than a tenth of the, the rant videos or, or, my, or my, of my videos on here are, are rant videos. The rest of them are me raving about how good indie horror, low budget horror movies are. Okay, because there is a ton of them out there. But a bad movie is a bad movie. You don't like my criticism, then, or if you can't take criticism, which is, you know, go fucking work at Walmart, then collecting carts, or maybe you can go work in a warehouse somewhere, stocking shelves so you're away from everyone, so you won't get any criticism. But <laughs> to all of you, you can keep criticizing me in the comment section, that's fine, because I do read every comment, and, you know, I'm always trying to improve, so... Hey, anyways, that's why I took my channel down out of respect for Mario. He, he, he came to me and, you know, he gave me his views and opinions and told me why it happened and that it was, you know, the fans of his movie. And I'm like, hey, dude, that is fucking awesome. I'm a man of my word. And the video came down. Okay. It is what it is. I mean, I love it. And he is a fantastic guy. And he's and he said he's got some movies that he's working on coming out. One's called, I believe it's called A House in the Pines, uh, which I hope to review. Um, you know, and, and he's got movies on, on Tubi TV. So, yeah, it's it's great. Um, and, and, that, and this last section, like the criticism and stuff, wasn't directed towards him. It was just the, the commenters in the comment section. So which I'm sure is going to spark uh, another load of, of comments that I just shake my head at. But anyways, okay, that's my reason. I know I've gone on way too long. Listen, like I've always said, go check this movie out for yourself. It's called Human Hibachi. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, go rent it. You can make up your own opinion on it and then come back and let me know what you think and we'll go from there. And I have got a ton of reviews coming revolving around indie horror and hey guess what i fucking the majority of them i fucking loved so damaging to the industry as i am i'm gonna keep pumping out the reviews whether i like a movie or not you know give me your thoughts on on you know anything that you want in the comment section below i, I love you all guys and until next time stay scared